Artists in the 1900s had goals and philosophies they were called a variety of isms and tendencies. These isms and tendencies are widely considered to be the art movements of the 20th century. Before the turn of the 20th century, from 1880 to 1900, modernism started. Supposedly, there was Art Nouveau, symbolism, the Vienna Secession, post-impressionism, and Lane Abbey. After 1900 through 1910, there was Fauvism, the photo secession, Cubism, Futurism, De Brucker, Expressionism. These isms and tendencies are widely considered to be the art movements of the 20th century. From 1910 to 1920, there was Orphism, Vorticism, School of Paris, Constructivism, Suprematism. Also, Blauer, writer, De Stijl, and Bauhaus, and da 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 in the 1920s. There was new objectivity, surrealism, and there were Mexican murals. These isms and tendencies are widely considered to be the art movements of the 20th century. The 1930s saw socialist realism. Group F64, American Social Realist Photography, and Unit 1, the British Surrealist Group, the Harlem Renaissance, and Photojournalism. From the 1940s, there was the St. Ives School, Spatialism, Abstract Expressionism, Art in Formel and Cobra These isms and tendencies Are widely considered to be The art movements of the 20th century In the 1950s There were happenings There was New York photography The neo-concrete group Situationist International Pop up, neo da da, and hard edge painting. In the 1960s, there was nouveau realism, minimalism, up art, Vienna actionism, fluxus, art povera, land art. School of London Post painterly abstraction These isms and tendencies Are widely considered to be The art movements of the 20th century In the 1970s There was conceptual art Feminism performance art, conceptual photography, photorealism, and body art. In the 1980s, there was the black art movement, video and film, neo-expressionism, graffiti art and new British sculpture. And finally, in the 1990s, there were the young British artists, Dusseldorf School Photography and Installation. These isms and tendencies are widely considered to be the 
are movements of the 20th century. These isms and tendencies are widely considered to be the art movements of the 20th century. Art movements are not set in stone. These tendencies and isms are pretty well known, but the ism I've neglected is criticism.